You know, I, I, I found myself lately looking into the eyes of these 13 and 14 year old kids and going, wow, these, these are the people that this play is about, which is crazy. And I know that we can all say 13 then wasn't 13 now, but there are certain physiological and hormonal things that have not really evolved that drastically over 500 years. So, um, just it, what was really great about the casting process for this was finding people who were really incredibly great with the language, um, but who also could access this um, kind of child understanding in themselves, put themselves back to that place in their own lives and development, um, what it means to be afraid, what it means to uh, be inconsolable, what it means to feel that no one understands you. Um, and they were all able to do this in a way that never felt like they were reaching for youth or playing at youth, but just really getting back to what our emotional core is before we learn how not to have those feelings, before people tell us that it's not okay to grieve endlessly, and before people, you know, say, well, it, it'll change tomorrow, you'll get over it. He never tells us what it is that started you know, he never tells us the source of the, the feud, which in many ways is, I think, confounding to audiences because they want to have something to get behind and identify with, like they want to be able to take sides. But what he does in a larger sense is he just makes you choose between love and hate. Like, you just, those are the things that we're, we're highlighting here.